Committee is recognized for two minutes. Ask unanimous consent to revise and extend my remarks, and I rise Without in strong objection. support of the cap cut and cap cut cap and balance legislation. I commend the gentleman from Utah uh, and all the others who brought this forward. And here's why: right here, we had a vote here on the floor of this house a few weeks ago about the President of the United States' request, just give me a clean debt limit increase. Every single Republican and nearly, nearly a majority of the Democrats voted to do the opposite, to, to, to not give him a, a debt limit increase. This shows us why we are here today with cut, cap, and balance legislation. This is the track that the Democrats have us on right now. This is the track that would be on if the President had gotten his wish for a debt limit increase without any spending cuts, without any caps on future spending, and without what 80 percent of the American people want, which is a balanced budget amendment to the United States Constitution. This green line is what we're voting on today. This is what the House budget, already adopted by this institution, and that we're operating under right now with our appropriations bill, this is what would put us on a target to not only balance the budget, but also to pay off the $14 trillion national debt that we are faced with right now, our children and grandchildren are faced with, the future of our economy is faced with right now. So this is the choice that we have here today. Take care of the debt limit. Don't default. Don't default on our obligations. No one here wants to do that. But also, cut spending, cap spending, and pass a balanced budget amendment to the United States Constitution. In 1995, we came within one vote in the United States Senate after the House of Representatives cast 300 bipartisan votes for a balanced budget amendment to the United States Constitution. And now we have the opportunity to lay the groundwork to do it again, but this time to succeed. And we have much, much greater reason to do that because of the fact that we are faced with this mountain of red ink that we can turn into a bright future for America. I urge my colleagues to support this legislation. Gentleman's time has expired. The gentleman from Maryland.